Stop it! Oh, I'm bored. Hey, what about me breakfast? Yeah, if you'd wanted one of those, you should have stayed at the B&B. I uh, should have come round later. Ah, <sighs> go on then. Oh, Jazz. I've got to call you. Why? I'm not doing till half ten. No, 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 no. That's when Louise is due back. You can't come in till half eleven. Why not? Because by then, Diane should have phoned her and explained to her that you're working there again. Oh, go on then. But if Skippy so much as looks at me in the wrong way, she's going to be tutting on the other side of her face. Right then. I'll see you later. Right, I best get a wriggle on. Excuse me. I expected to spend the first night in here in a bed, not on the sofa. Yeah, well, we can hardly share a bed if he's here, can we? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't mind being the filling in that sandwich. But not you. No, I don't care what you do. You get it sorted, right? Because I'm not paying rent on half a room I never even get to sleep in. <laughs> Don't you believe in weekends? Weekends are for skivers and wimps. I can think of better ways to spend it than working. Oh, pity I don't have an imagination like yours, then, isn't it? How's it all going? Well, I've just had to give the caterers a right earful. We've got a drink delivery coming later on, and you have to watch this slot like a hawk if you want anything doing properly. Oi! I told you that's coming in here, love, in here! She's enthusiastic. No, she's a grafter. <laughs> if I had a dozen like her, we could take over the flaming government. <laughs> oh, talking of which, I've just had Ledbetter on the phone. He reckons that that bad publicity we had has made his job a lot more difficult convincing the other councillors, but we should get planning permission by the end of the week. I hope he don't want his palm greasing again. No way. I've already bunged in two grand extra. That is a lot. So when's the work start? How does the week on Monday sound? That's soon. Yeah, but keep it quiet till after the party, eh? And where have you been since yesterday? Out. I don't know. You prowl around the village all night, then you come back here to get fed and watered. I've had dogs new to for less. You are still a married man, and don't you forget it. How could I? Hey, you do realise that people are going to be talking about this party for years to come? Yeah, and that'll all be down to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really grateful for all the hard work you've put in on this. It's my pleasure. I said I'd organise a party and I'll tell you what, I do nothing half out of me. I tell you what, when it's all over, why don't you let me take you out to dinner just to say thank you? Yeah, I'd like that. Wednesday night? Sounds good to me. It's a date. Right. What was all that about? I'm just taking Charity out for a bit of dinner. What for? Well, she's worked really hard organising this day. Yeah, and she's being paid for it. Why, lad. Talk about Scrooge. I'm oh, glad I don't work for you. Yeah, I'm sure that's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's just the one verse. Oh, great. OK, thank you then. Bye. Still hard at it. Well, by the looks of things, you've been pretty busy yourself. Just doing stuff that normal people do on a weekend. Uh, all right, I can hardly leave that till last minute, could I? You know what your problem is? You're a perfectionist. You say that like it's an insult. It was a compliment. What's this? Compensation for a misspent weekend. Matthew, you shouldn't have. Anyway, when you finish up here, maybe we'll call for a drink or not. I don't really think that's a good idea. Mixing business with pleasure. Someone like that, yeah. I know what you mean. I could always sack you and ask again. <sighs> no offence, yeah, but, um... I need a job more than I do a date right now. Listen, I just need to ask you one last thing. Come on. Well, I want to buy something really nice for the pie. So, could I please have an advance on my wages? <laughs> of course you can, what do you want? Say about, uh, 300 quid. 300? Good party, Well, bro. you don't want me showing you up, do you? Mm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, what do you think of it so far? Not bad. Um, are you up for a round of golf? It's a bit late in the day for that, isn't it? How about a walk then? Yeah, all right. I could do with stretching my legs. Come on. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about this morning. Hey, what? About Carl staying over. We'll sort something out, yeah? Yeah, sure. Do you want a drink? What's got you smiling? Matthew asked me out. He never. Only went and bought me perfume and all. Ah. And, uh, Tom asked 
asked me out to for dinner. So which one are you going to go for? Tom's the only one I'm interested in. That's off to you, girl. When you set your sights on a bloke, I better just give up without a struggle. Yeah, well, I've not landed him yet, have I? But it's only a matter of time. I'll tell you what, when he sees me in my new frock at the party, I'll be in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've looked at a few places, but none of them are right. Anyway, it'd be better if we saw them together. <laughs> the dog, he's pining for you. <laughs> Course I am, darling. You are? When? That's great. Dad would be delighted if you can get back in time for his party. <laughs> All right, love, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Mwah. Bye. Just you wait till Sadie finds out you've not so much as called an estate agent. And the dog's in kennels. You'll be the one in the doghouse. You better not drop me in it. I won't have to say anything. She always finds out anyway. I know. <laughs> Still, she'll soon forget anything I've done when she runs into the new secretary. Poor Charity. I wouldn't like to be in her shoes. Aye. Ha, 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 ha.